All right, tonight, folks, I'm going to make uh, sausage and sauerkraut. This is one of those gorilla recipes I got in here, and actually, this started out with like two hot dogs I had left in the refrigerator, and I've, <laughs> I've upgraded to actually uh, smoked sausage when I plan on it. But when I started it, I cut up uh, three or four hot dogs and some sauerkraut, and I mixed the rest of this stuff together, and it turned out pretty good. So what we've got here is we've got a can of a uh, whole corn of corn. Um, if you can get fresh corn, it's not in season right now, but if you can get fresh corn, cut it off the cob, that'd be better. Better. We got some Rotel tomatoes. There's other companies that make those tomatoes. I'm using the mild because I'm going to spice it up um, on my own, and I don't want to, I don't want it to be too hot. So I'm starting with the mild there. I've got uh, a can of sauerkraut and a little bit of sauerkraut left over from the last time I made it. So that's what that is. And then I got salt, pepper, um, some taco sauce, and of course some beef smoked sausage. Um, I like the beef better than the tri meat, the one that's got beef, turkey, and pork in it. Um, that's just me. You know, other people that like you know whatever you like, whatever you think is good. If you eat the better sausage, the better ingredients you can get, the better off you are. So those are the ingredients. Here's the other nice thing about it. We're going to do this one here and um, you'll see we've got one pan. So you know some of my favorite recipes are one pan recipes and this is definitely one of those. So uh, sit back and I hope you enjoy it. All right what we're going to start with doing is opening up the sausage. Careful to get away from you. I like to cut it in half. It makes it easier to cut. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to come back and we're going to cut chunks. Can I give you an idea? That's the size chunk that you that we want to cut. Again, you want to cut them about all the same size, best you can. I mean, nobody's measuring them, but just go through here, cut them into pieces. got here is so we got a pan it's coming up to temperature I've got it uh, two marks past medium went a little bit hotter than medium and I put a, just a little olive oil in it and now we're going to add our sausage to it see if I can do this like a pro not look like an idiot there you go the sausage probably doesn't have enough grease it'll stick to this metal pan it's not a non-stick pan so that's why I added a little grease to that. If you got a non-stick pan, you can probably get away without doing that. Now all we want to do is just fry this up a little bit. Get it a little crispy. The outside edges and the skin. Alright, we got that about where we want it. Now what I'm going to do is I've taken, I've drained the uh, sauerkraut, so it's just sauerkraut. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Now if you like a lot of sauerkraut, one can will do it, but you can add more. I have this left over from the last time I made it, so I'm going to add a little bit of that. I think that'll be fine. All right, we're going to fry that up a little bit. cabbage will get a real nice color to it when we all get said and done with this but right now we just want to kind of fry it up with that sausage all right we got that about where you want it to be you just want to you know four or five minutes let it fry you get some uh, stuff on the bottom for frying that sausage up so this cabbage will take it off sauerkraut will take it off so we got that about where we want. Now we're going to add the can of uh, Rotel tomatoes to it. <clears throat> Throw a little salt in there, just for good measure. A little pepper. Stir that up a little bit.
All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients. I've got a can of uh, whole kernel corn here, sweet corn again. You know, if you can get that off the cob, that's better. Let's put that in there. Go ahead and stir it up. Well, that's looking good, isn't it? If anything, it's bright. You put that corn in and it brings everything red, the yellow, everything together, doesn't it? Well, it looks good. So you got that going. Now we're going to take, uh, now you don't, you can use chunky. Actually, I've turned my dad onto this recipe and he's uh, done it and used chunky salsa, so uh, that works too. Again, the peppers and onions are bigger, but we're just going to take some taco sauce, pour that in there. And then, of course, hot sauce. Again, and if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. So put as much or as little as you want in there. Now, the nice thing about this is like chili. It gets better the longer that uh, the longer that it sits. So uh, obviously, someday it spoils. But you know what I mean. Chili's better the night after you make it than the day you make it. So this stuff kind of absorbs its flavors too and does the same thing. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to let this simmer. Oh, I don't know for maybe 10, 15 minutes. And uh, after it gets done simmering, it we'll plate it up and I'll show you what I got. Well, there you go, folks. That's uh, sausage and sauerkraut. I think the corn adds a little sweetness to the uh, sourness of the sauerkraut, and uh, I think corn goes with just about anything. So, anyways, um, simple recipe. Doesn't take long to make. One pan, so you don't dirty up a bunch of dishes. And like I said, leftovers are great. I'll be honest with you, I've never chopped, tried freezing it. Um, I've never been able to keep it around long enough to freeze it, but... Um, I'd be interested to know how that works. I'm not sure how cabbage freezes, but anyways, uh, maybe one day we'll try that and I'll report back to you and let you know if that works or not. Otherwise, as I say, you don't have to be a king to eat like one. I prove it and I wish y'all were here, but since you're not, I'm going to have to eat all this myself. Y'all have a good night. Thanks for tuning in.